Movie Play viewers, I've been waiting for a little while to hear some, uh, hi Paul, hi Jen, I've been waiting for a little while to hear our motor start up, and one finally did, this is the busy time of the, the day when boats are, are coming back, so here comes the, uh, and I hate, you know how I hate shooting into the sun, so this will be over in a minute. We're going to be turning to the right out of the sun. Hello, hello, Greg. Hello, Mindy. All my favorite people are here. Everyone's looking for something to do. Hello, honey pot. Good to see you all. And you're pink today. So this is probably a short scope. These these things don't take long. Here's the uh, here's the uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. The, the customer, customer's boat, and uh, staff person holding it and the tines on the giant forklift go down i think it's going to be a twofer yep yep there's another one behind me there's two forklifts here this is what i was hoping for was a twofer we started out just doing one uh the spot i'm at is normally reserved for, for all these boats that are staged these are all either coming or going i think they're going to be coming out um, oops, someone's tooting, but not for me. So they drop the, uh, drop the big forks in, haul it over, then we wait. There's a bit of a wind blowing, but you never know it in this place. Hi, Divine. Oh, alright. Maybe uh, a temporary false alarm. The guy driving the forklift number two has, has absconded. Off he goes. Uh, but he left it running. Yeah, it's, oh my goodness. It's, it's almost one of those perfect days. So, so they, they push it around. And now it's in place. Almost in place. Wait a minute, she said. You know, the guy in the forklift, he can't, he, he's standing up. He's, he's like peering over the edge. He can't see too well. That, that position. I haven't explained really what's going on, but I will in a minute. Uh, what's, what's the point of all this, right? Now, when I lift my boat, my boat is too heavy. It's 75 in the nutmeg state. Boy, sounds ideal. I'm trying to think if I ever use, have you ever used nutmeg for baking? There we go. Here it comes. Now bigger boats like this blue one, that one will go in with the motor sticking out the back. But this is a tiny little one. And up it comes. So the forklift tilts back so it doesn't slip off the end. Tilts back. Up it goes. Up it goes. Up it goes a little more. No, a couple more feet. There we go. All right. So it's it's cleared the uh, cleared the edge. I'm not sure why he's going up so high uh, because this this young lady over here has got the hose ready. Or maybe she's just thinking to use the hose. I've really never paid much attention to this whole process until just now, so I'm not exactly sure of the whole the whole thing. Uh, when it's summertime, this place, that's why they have two forklifts. When this summertime is going, this place is like non-stop activity all weekend. Let's see if I can get into the, uh, into the shadow of this building without getting my signal cut off. So then off it goes to a, and I'll let it get away from me. It's really loud now. All right, it's around the corner. So off it goes to a rack, and they'll probably give it a little rinse with the hose. There's some, some stands over there. Uh, it's possible, and I'm not sure what's around the corner, it's possible that's where it's gonna end up. So the deal here is, if you wanna store your boat for cheap, it's like a, a boat hotel. 
and in they go just they just sit on these stands one two three four four levels high and if you want super duper treatment you can be inside too um, not quite sure what if there's much advantage to that uh, the, the Sun is going to hit these just a little bit but not too much uh, so this other forklift is still running the guy went off in a, a golf cart uh, the owners of a boat that just arrived they're going home and and when you get far enough in the south you've got to look out for this ant nest and I put on my Boston accent for you I said ant nest they'll come out and they'll nip you good red ants they're they have a bad a bad bite so I, I, I learned the Learn by by accident. You've got to pay attention. Oh wait, there is a twofer, maybe. So yeah, these 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 ants—they're all over the place. Here's oh, oh, I'm in the way. There's another one. Oh, I'm standing on one. Look out. Yep, nasty. Uh, so if you're not from the south, it's it's not a normal thing to uh, to think about in terms of looking looking down when you're standing on the ground that's just something you don't really do when it's not red ant territory um, so waiting for our forklift to come this girl is uh, getting this other boat ready the owners we saw going off with their cooler and the two children they went off to where they were parked there I'm gonna put my accent on again for you wherever they parked their car I used to work with someone who had a Southie accent. It was very, very fun to hear him talking. Um, so, if you grew up around Boston and listened to uh, listen to the radio on your way to work, you'd hear the uh, the WBZ helicopter talking about the the backup at the Dorchester gas tanks. Now, I can't do that accent. I don't know anything about only fans should be taxed. Don't tax my fans. They get to watch for free. So this boat eventually is coming out. There's nobody there to, uh, to run that forklift. And the other one went behind the building. And it's got awfully quiet. Um, yeah, no, this is fine. So, if you want to look at look at this uh, this scene for a few minutes, we'll we'll just stand by. Off in the distance, there's there's more boats coming in. I don't know how well I don't no I don't dare zoom too much because I have a shaky hand. So, the smart person will go first, make a stop at the fuel dock, and and put in as much as they need to, so the tank is full. So next time they're ready to go. And there's another boat behind them. There's probably only one spot open at that fuel dock. They tend to uh, they tend to put a boat at the end of it for the night. There's a couple spots here they they don't lease out long term. They keep them open for overnight, and they get more, much more money that way. It's this is a cheap place too. It's it's probably one of the cheapest ones on the East Coast. So if you want to spend the night here, it's a dollar a foot and an extra if you need to plug in for electricity uh, I've paid uh, paid a pretty cheap amount for the month and I haven't plugged in for electricity they charge you if you're here for the month they charge you based on how much electricity you use and so far I've been solar powered um, that that can that's possibly uh, that might be changing soon because I looked at the weather forecast and and we're going to be squished between a two weather systems the storm in the south and and high pressure to the north and it's supposed to be like days and days of, of clouds and rain you can see the flags flapping pretty good so the flag is flapping pretty good yeah so so no no solar power if it's days and days of clouds and rain I can run my battery out pretty fast um, when, I, when I say battery I have I have two batteries for for general general use on the boat and have another battery on the boat just to start the motor but I basically start the motor off the two and it gets recharged in an instant 
the, the third battery is just in case the, the two that are combined ever have an issue because the last thing you want is to need to use your motor and you can't. You can't start it because the battery is dead. When the way the boat came was, was it was all, it was like horribly, horribly miswired. Um, as I found out like a year after I had bought the boat, I found out the batteries were all wired to each other. So the, the switch between one and two didn't, uh, didn't do anything. And the original owner had a fourth battery and it was never getting charged. So the boat I bought came with four batteries and three of them were, were completely uh, finished. And it's a true miracle that the people that, that brought my boat down from Maine, it took them about three or four days, and they were running a refrigerator the whole time. They're running a refrigerator on one battery. Like, good gracious. But somehow it worked and they got, got back and nothing, nothing went wrong. Uh, but they also had the solar panels doing their thing. So a lot of sunny days would, would recharge. All right, so, so I think I'm gonna scope out the, uh, the young lady who was, who was waiting for the forklift, tied this boat up and has walked off. She's needed at the gas dock for the little boat that just came in. And over here we still have the idling forklift. And the other one that went back to who knows where. So I'm glad I got to scope one of these. I've been waiting for like uh, an hour and a half to hear that motor start up. And if you like dogs, here's a dog. I've been waiting for a while and the motor finally started up and I got my microphone on and heading north or south. Well, right now I'm heading nowhere. Um, if I head south, that will depend on having a destination. Well, thank you. Thank you, honeypot. I try to show something different. And, I, and most people certainly don't see this kind of scene uh, too often. So nice to share it. And there's the guy with the... No, no, he's going the other way. Let's see if that... The electric go-kart comes back this way. Yep, all right. He's coming back. Maybe we'll, maybe I'm not scoping out. Maybe we're going to get a twofer. Now, now seeing that the, the young lady's gone off to sell gas, I know someone should go down and help with that boat, but obviously I don't work here, so I know someone should do it, and here I am standing around doing nothing, but... I don't think they'd want me moving someone else's boat onto a forklift and having it, you know, centered properly. So, here he goes. He's going to pick up this boat. He probably can, uh, probably can do it by himself. I don't know if you can see it too well, but the lip of this concrete thing has some big pieces of metal sticking up. And see how, it, how they tilted it vertical? It was tilted back before. So the, the edge of this concrete pad has some big pieces of metal so the, uh, the forklift doesn't do a, a header into the water. You certainly wouldn't want that. Um, I have heard a few funny stories about impatient uh, cars uh, at bridges getting, uh, getting restless and deciding to cross the bridge at, at 1 or 2 in the morning and the bridge was open and whoops, there goes the pickup truck into the water. But that's not happening here. This man is energetic, he's, he's walking briskly. Uh, actually, the funniest story was, and I don't know how this could happen, um, but on the, uh, there's, two, there's two, two parts of the intercoastal waterway. The main one, through Norfolk, has, has a bunch of highway bridges and a train bridge, and I don't really understand how it happened, but, but the bridge was up and the train came, and the train didn't stop. I, I don't understand how he missed the red, red signal. Uh, so, so the train ended up going off 
not not into the water but but going off the tracks like it was as if it were going to go into the water and and the, i think he probably hit the bridge i think the bridge was in the up position so he probably hit the the raised part of the bridge the train bridge and, and things were out of commission for a considerable time uh i definitely i usually don't take that route so the only reason i heard about it is is because they had to close they had to close that route to to make repairs to get the train out and all that so so my buddy robert who was working at the Dizzle swamp canal section was was getting a lot of uh, displaced traffic and so i heard that story from him uh, of course, you really never hear the story of how, how. Oh yes, oh yes. Uh, Trump flags are everywhere. So, so that boat, which you were very keen to spot, has a Trump flag. And I'm looking, and and there aren't any other ones. All right. But there's been numerous boats today going out with Trump flags. So a little easier to do it when you have help. Because here's this is uh, North Carolina. I don't know about North Carolina. I don't think so. I'm not in North Carolina, I'm in South Carolina. And it's not like I'm paying attention to the news in all that, that great detail. Oh, and here's the second, here's the first forklift coming back with a different boat. So, so maybe we get a threefer. Holy cow. What an exciting day at the boatyard. I don't quite understand what that that mat is that's rolled up on the back well honey pot are you ready to drive a forklift doesn't look hard does it raise it up tilt it back off you go yes I think the tricky thing about driving a forklift is you have to memorize what the levers do there's the tilt it back. See, even I'm learning how to drive a forklift by just by observation. And I don't think I said hello to you, Robin. Hello, Robin. So that one gets out of the way. Try to get into the shadow here and not walk on an ant nest. Yeah, we get a threefer. This one's going in. Well, I've, I've really not paid too much attention. It's not going to have, there's no activity on the weekdays to speak of. Um, and if there's going to be activity, it'll be first thing in the morning or, or later in the day. So let's see what this one's going to do. You might have to do a three point turn. Or more. Let's see how he does. Hello, Subi. Yep, three-point turn. And that boat has Florida Florida registration. So who knows where what his story is? No Trump flag. Actually, uh, I think they probably have to take their flags off before they come out. Some of these flags stuck up quite a ways. No bottom paint. Well, that's the thing. There's no bottom paint if you're uh, if you're stored on shore. You only use the boat for for a day, a part of a day, and then it comes out again. Uh, the other thing is, th this is fresh water. We're we're actually connected at both ends to the ocean, but we're far enough. Yep, dry dock. We're far enough inland that the water is all coming from from rain and upstream places inland drain it drain into this uh this this section i'm in is is an artificial cut uh years ago the government made the icw and and built this part by by cutting trees down and digging a ditch pretty big ditch at this point it does join up with some uh with a river that winds back and forth. The, uh, the Waccamaw River is very pretty. It, it looks like this, minus the, uh, minus the infrastructure. 
uh, and the odd thing is there's there's no banking in this area the trees are, are right on the edge the, the 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 roots the roots go right right to the edge of the water and there's no banking like like there is here so these people are waiting there waiting for their boat to show up here it is uh, something a little odd one of the motor motors has a has a Yamaha label and the other doesn't so they must have had a little little mishap and either spray painted or replaced the cover so the boat goes in you hop on and off you go and then over here this guy's looking the guy with the white hair is looking energetic still he's gonna pull one out boy <laughs> going from one boat to four wasn't planning on on so much excitement today my heart be still right and I still have 11 viewers I think you're all expert at, at boat a boat launching and, and removal at this point and looking in the distance there's a little boat going out uh, so they got any fish in that cut uh well i i really don't know um this fresh water hello good morning from france bonjour ça va bien i don't know too much more of french than than that uh so there's probably fish here i'm trying to think if i've seen any boats going out with fishing rods and I think I did see someone going out with fishing rods but most of these boats going out uh, do not have the fishing rods they're just going out for the fun of it they're not set up for fishing okay supply the music the only sound here you're going to be getting is the the rumbling of the backhoe I mean the the forklift not the backhoe So here's here's one more. This this is it. Sailing takes you away. Well, do you um, do you go sailing, or you just like the idea of sailing? Sailing in France is a bit tricky because you have big tides there. I've seen some of the harbors on other people's videos. little consultation going on this is this is a new boat just came in today as they're saying I'm not sure which boats new go play in a sandbox yeah go enjoy your sandbox I don't mind a few a uh, few funny comments that's all all good sport oh my goodness here comes another one It's like a production line all of a sudden. And I can't imagine what it's like in the summer. They, they'd be going non-stop all day. Uh, one thing I don't quite understand is these Trump flags. The election is over. You can get rid of the Trump flag now. Not according to Trump. Well, that's correct. And and technically the, the vote for president doesn't happen until I think it's December 15th is when the president is actually selected. Uh, so a lot can happen between then and now. I'm trying to cover both activities at once here. This, this kid likes to raise them up. Raise them up. Hell are you there? Praise the Lord. Uh oh, look out. It's gonna hit. Uh, this, this, this is a little boat mishap. Maybe uh, 
Maybe he did that on purpose. I don't think so. All right, we'll, we'll leave that drama to unfold. This one's going to turn around. It did hit. It didn't hit with a crunch. Uh, uh, hitting with a bump is okay. Now see, he raised it up, and now he's dropping it down again. And tilting back. You can see there's some big rams on the back of this. Yeah, hit, hitting with a bump is okay. Uh, you don't want to hit with a crunch. All right, there might be some hosing action coming up. All right, so this is, this is a boat wash. It's gonna give it the scrub. Which, you know, I find this a bit strange because these boats are in fresh water. I guess they, they, they're paid to do it sometimes. But you're in fresh water. It's, it's already clean. But maybe this is, this is part of the, uh, this might be the extra service. If you pay for the extra service, you get the extra service. And they get the, they get to squirt the hose. All right, that other boat went off. Um, I'm a little bit of a detective here. Yeah, and, and there's the, uh, the young lady who was at the fuel dock, came back to see what was going on, and then she's going back toward the fuel dock. So I'm going to guess that big boat that had the bump is going to get fueled up and then get pulled out. Because she's going back to the fuel dock to turn the pump on, I would think. I'm not quite sure why they needed two people to move that boat, but they did. So you get slime build up. Uh, yeah, it looks like he, I don't, you know, that's a good point. I don't think he was going over the edge too. If he was going over the edge too much, I'd have stepped back. And yeah, you can get a little bit of slime, but these boats were only in the water for for a day or two. Um, but, you know, I guess it doesn't hurt to, you know, whatever you're doing, it's not going to make it any worse. And, and it might make it better, so, okay. Yep, bumper boats. Um, if you want to see bumper boats, try to find a video of Amsterdam during a, uh, during some event. That's insanity. Oh, and here's another little one coming this way. And, and the boat that's next to me, the, the guy's giving it a good wash. So I suspect it'll be coming out later. Alright, have you noticed, have you noticed anybody here? Anybody at all? wearing a mask. For example, as far as people are concerned here, there's no such thing as a virus. Zero people here are wearing a mask. Which is one reason I don't go and talk to anybody. Uh-oh. No, it's not going to go into the, into the grass. Uh, if I tried to try to tell people what to do, they wouldn't take kindly to it. And all I would get is some grief. Uh, I will say one thing. I went to the grocery store this morning. And, and I was so, so excited to go to the grocery store. I haven't been to the grocery store since, uh, well, last month sometime. And, you know, I'd be outnumbered. <laughs> They, they'd, ra they'd wrestle me to the ground, that's for sure. I went to the grocery store and I was so excited to go to the grocery store I forgot my goddamn mask. So I, I, I got into the door and, and waved at the people having a little meeting and said I forgot a mask, do you have one? And they did have one. So at least I was doing the right thing. Uh, but even though, oh, I'm super careful. Even though the store has signs saying mask required, there was some old lady going up and down with no mask. And, and I wasn't about to say anything to her. Just stay, 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 keep my distance. Uh, this was, I went to the store as soon as I could. I, I, I started my day at six o'clock. So I could get get out of here at uh, 
Well, you know, the thing is, they, they are educated, they know better. It's, it's not like this is brand new. Having to wear a mask is something they've, they've been hearing for, well, I don't know, how many months since March? March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So they've been hearing this for eight months. They know. They've just chosen to say it's not a priority. Um, so I like to, I, I go to the store first thing in the morning. I was in this morning just after, after it opened. Oh, thank you. I'm glad I have a soothing voice. It's getting a little croaky right now. I wasn't planning to talk for so long. Um, so I like going to the store really early. There's hardly anybody around. Uh, whatever you pick up hasn't been touched by germy hands because it's been sitting overnight. Hopefully the virus has, has expired. Um, there's no crowd. I do my thing. I can only carry back what, I'm on a bicycle. You know, I'm on a boat here. You know, I can't put a lot of stuff in a, in a car and, and drive it back. So, so I can only buy as much as will fit in my backpack and then I'm full. And this, this, the one downside about this place is the grocery store is three miles away. Which, if it's a nice day, if there's no wind, if it's not hot, I haven't, I haven't tried bicycling in the cold. Um, then it's an easy trip. So, the scuba divers. Uh, well, a scuba diver needs a mask to see, for sure. Uh, I think there aren't any, I don't know. No, there, are, there is a scuba diver. No, seriously. Uh, a scuba diver, there is one somewhere nearby. So, there's, there's two things that can happen. One is, if they don't open a convenience store, well, uh, honey pot, where am I going to... Uh, you know, it's, I, I, honey pot, are you familiar with something called zoning? I think this whole region near me is, is zoned agricultural. Um, or business, I don't know. All right, I'll have to explain that to you later. I also have to make sure I'm not standing on an ant nest. Because once they get crawling up my leg, it's too late. All right, so that boat's tied up. That little black boat that was being washed with the dog, maybe he's untying. Yeah, well, you know, uh, that's happened to me twice. And I was having a long conversation with somebody, only to feel a little nip part way up my leg. And I looked down, I looked down at one of those things. And boy, were those people, uh, were those ants disturbed? They were swarming. You know, so, so there's the one that nips you that gets your attention. But there's the other 60 that are coming along, raring to go. I, I, oh my goodness, we had a lot of hilarity last night. I'll give you something to laugh about today. I was almost at the point of, of stripping off my pants in front of this woman I was talking to, to get rid of the ants, because they had gone up my pant leg. And, and I think I was probably wearing socks, so they weren't getting into my ankles. Uh, but they, you know, to get up my pant leg, they have to get onto my sneaker and then up the, up the, up the, up, you know, across the gap somehow and onto my sock and then up the leg. Oh, brother. This is a long time ago, and I still remember that, that trauma. Uh, but I think I only got a few, a few nips and got rid of them <laughs> quickly in, in, a, in a panic. All right, so that guy's still washing. That means, that means there's nothing more to show. Uh, oh, wait, one more thing to show. Yep, the ants. This boat isn't quite in place yet. The one that, that came out last. But we'll end here. You can see where it's, it's going in. We'll zoom in. There you go. See, it's, it's going into its little spot. So everybody, thanks for watching. And I don't know if I'll be able to do this again. It might not be for a couple weeks. Who knows where I'll be then. So chat, chat with, with at least one of you sooner rather than later. But we'll catch you all later. Until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.